Setting limits on kids screen time. That's a hot topic right now. One California mom ended her screen struggle with her five kids by banning all of them for 30 days. But get this, the ban isn't what makes this a story. It's that her kids loved it. That mom, Molly, joins us to explain along with pediatrician Dr. Daphna Adut. I love this, Molly. Congratulations. Congratulations. But more importantly, I am absolutely ecstatic that it was a success, not for just you, but your kids. Me too, it was shocking, honestly. I was really surprised. So how, so how did it come about, and then how long until your kids were like, wait a minute, we like this. Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, you know, I have five kids, ages four to 10, and a couple months ago, my husband and I, we started seeing some behaviors we didn't like, and we didn't know what it was. We weren't sure if it was sugar or lack of sleep, um, but we did notice they had trouble transitioning from a screen to not a screen. Mm. So one day I came home from running errands, and one of my kids greeted me at the door with, can I play on your phone? And that was it for me. I called my husband, I said, we're taking a break, this is out of control, and he said, let's do it, I'm in. So that night we told them at dinner, we said, we're pulling the plug guys until further notice. And there were a lot of tears. <laughs> I am kind of curious when your kids went from tears to mm -hmm. the aha moment of, yeah. we're, we're, wait, we're happier. Yeah, so that was the crazy thing. I anticipated a really hard time with this, but the next morning they woke up and they didn't even ask for screens. They started entertaining themselves with couch forts and Lego building and reading books. <laughs> Imagine that. So. Um, I was really surprised. We saw results immediately and their behavior got so much better. So we were just really pleased with the results. And Molly, I love the part of your story where then each child really had their unique interests and then, then you got to foster that and help them develop that, that your daughter began to read more. And so she was the reader. So then you did more things to sort of help prompt her to read more and to encourage that. Yeah, absolutely. We started to see, I mean, she already loved reading, but now that screens were off the table, she would just devour books. And my son, um, he has really taken to art and he wanted to teach the whole family how to draw. So he led an art class for the family. So once it was removed, we got to see, you know, what are their gifts and what are their interests and let's feed those things. And it's been really fun. This February, I'm just getting warmed up. Follow the doctors. Yes. Follow breaking medical news. Millennials' health is declining at age 27, much earlier than previous generations. CDC is reporting every 15 minutes an American dies from a superbug infection. We really could have the apocalypse. Follow the trends that can save your life. There actually exists a black market of stolen counterfeit and faulty airbags putting lives at risk. Follow the future of medicine. You're saying you could take someone who's 75 and make them 25 again. I saw it. You saw it. And everyone else saw it. This February, feel good. Yeah, that's the spot. Yeah. And follow America's Wellness Show, The Doctors.